Tonight, the mayors of three cities along the Tampa to Orlando route are pushing Governor Rick Scott to change his mind about accepting federal money for high-speed rail, saying the economic benefits outweigh the anticipated risks. This comes as the Florida Supreme Court hears oral arguments in a lawsuit challenging the governor. Our Jeff Butera is following developments and joins us live now from the newsroom. Jeff? Jameson, here's the new part from today, and it's probably the most important part as well. The U.S. Department of Transportation now says if Florida takes the $2.4 billion in federal money, builds the high-speed rail, and it fails, the state will not have to pay the federal government back. The three mayors of Tampa, Lakeland, and Orlando say that should change the governor's mind. The governor challenged us to find a method that would ensure there's no risk for the Florida taxpayers, and we have done exactly that. And Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer, Tampa Mayor Pam Iorio, and Lakeland Mayor Gal Fields are adamant under their new high-speed rail plan. There is absolutely no risk to the Florida taxpayer. That was one of Governor Rick Scott's concerns, that if the high-speed rail project cost too much to build or didn't make any money, taxpayers would be on the hook. But the mayor's alternative plan puts that risk on a private company in charge of the rail. It is by the private sector being involved in providing transportation solutions in this state that we're going to reduce the cost to the taxpayers. Governor Scott's second concern, if the rail failed, taxpayers would have to pay back part of the $2.4 billion the federal government gave the state. That is not a concern. How? Well, the Department of Transportation has now agreed to waive that requirement if the state takes the rail money. In short, absolutely no risk to the citizens of Florida. But I'm reminded of a concern from a high-speed rail opponent named Peter Finneran I met a week ago. Every time they try to privatize something, we end up subsidizing it anyhow. He's worried the private company assuming the rail risk will eventually want a government subsidy later. I asked Mayor Iorio about that. She says the company will be bound by their bid. So the thought that somewhere down the line, someone's going to come back and say, I want another deal, well, that's just not the way it works. Yet the mayor's high-speed rail plan is not all that new. Governor Scott already rejected a virtually identical one earlier this week. So I asked the mayor. What are the chances you think he'll change his mind? It just doesn't seem likely, does it? Now, the mayor sent uh, their letter to the governor today. He has until tomorrow to an accept an alternative plan and tell the transportation secretary he wants the money. Meanwhile, in a separate issue related to high-speed rail, up in Tallahassee this afternoon, the Florida Supreme Court heard oral arguments in a lawsuit filed against the governor by two state senators. Their attorney argued today the governor did not have the power to reject the federal rail money because the legislature already approved it. The governor's counsel said the legislature only really approved a tiny portion of it, so the governor had the right to reject the rest. We're now waiting on a decision from the court. Jameson. All right.